Hi guys, it's finally time I'm gonna show you every single product that I use for my hair. Three years ago, I chopped my hair quite short, like this short. Here's a photo. And a year ago, my hair looked like this. So I've been growing it up for quite some time. I, right now it's pretty long, but very healthy, which I'm very happy with. I think I like myself more with long hair because it's kind of more of a feminine look and it gives me more confidence, if that makes sense. And usually I only allow my mom to cut my hair. So until I see her again, nobody's touching my hair. But yeah, I think it's time to cut it because it's getting quite difficult to manage. Anyways, today I'm gonna show you every single product that I use for my hair. I'm gonna show you my shampoo, my hair mask, and all the oils that I use. Recently, I switched to a new oil. So we'll be comparing the oil that I've been using for quite some time now and the new oil that a friend of mine brought me from Japan and I really really like it and I'm gonna show you both of them. I'm actually quite embarrassed to show you my shampoo because it's one of those that I bought and then I checked on this app. I'm not sure what the app is called, I'll, I'll put the link here. But it basically shows you the ingredients and if it's a toxic product or not. I only found out about this app recently so I checked my shampoo and it's actually not that good. But it smells very nice and I like it and it makes my hair very soft. So I, I use it quite a lot, but I will be definitely changing to another shampoo quite soon. So this is my shampoo. Yes, I know, please don't judge me. It's Herbal Essences and I know that it's not good for me, but it smells nice and it makes my hair very soft, so I like it. But I will definitely be switching to another shampoo soon. <laughs> so usually I wash my hair twice a week. And what I do is that I use the shampoo once to remove all the oils and all the dirt from my hair. And once again, to make sure that it's extra clean so that I can use a hair mask. Because if I don't wash it twice, my hair gets dirty very quickly. And the mask that I use for my hair is this mask that I brought from Japan. It came in a pack of two, so this is the one that I've been using and this is the one that I haven't opened yet. As you can see, I've been using quite a lot. <laughs> oh, but it smells so good. It smells very luxurious. It makes my hair very silky, very healthy, and I like it a lot. The only problem that I have with this mask is that it makes my shower floor very slippery. So if you use this one, be very careful because I slipped a couple of times. Almost died. So what I do is that I, I wash my hair twice and I use a little bit of this hair mask and I put it on my hair, put it on the roots of my hair. Because if I put it on the roots of my hair, my hair gets very heavy and it loses all of the volume here. So usually I just put my hair to the side while it's still wet and I put it from, from here to the ends. And I usually just forget about it for like 10 minutes while I wash my body and do the scrub and everything. Yeah, I just let my hair soak it in and then I just rinse it off. The thing that I think lets my hair stay healthy is that I don't blow dry it unless I'm in a rush and I actually have to. So I just let my hair air dry. I use a towel to get rid of all the extra water, but usually I just let it air dry. And when it's almost fully dry, but still a little bit damp, I use a hair oil. So usually I just use it where my hair actually needs it, so where you can see that my hair is a bit dry. So this is the oil that I've been using for I think a year, Gizu honey infused hair oil. I liked it a lot. It smells very nice. It has this like very luxurious feeling to it. And you actually don't need much of it. Like, look, look how much I've used in a year. I don't know, maybe, maybe if you use more of it, then I totally respect that. But for my hair, if I use more than a little drop, that's it, I, I will look greasy. So I just put a little drop, I, I rub it very well, and then I use it on my hair. Yes, yeah, so I used to use this oil quite a lot. The only thing about this oil is that it feels very oily. So as I said, you only need one, one drop. Even, even with one drop, a couple of times, my hair looked kind of greasy. So be very careful with the amount that you use. But recently, my friend brought me this from Japan and I love it. It's also honey-based, but it smells slightly differently. I think the Gizu hair oil smells a bit sweeter. It smells more like candy, like honey. While this one, Mm, it smells more fresh. It smells like flowers. You know, like a field of flowers. And I think I like this smell more as a perfume, but I like this smell more as something on my hair because I don't want my hair to smell too much. Like, you know, you don't want your hair to be overpowering. Anyways, the difference between these oils is that this one feels more like oil and this one feels more like a hair product, if that makes sense. I love both. I'm obsessed with both. But recently I've been using more of this one for two reasons. First of all, it, it made my hair look more silky and shiny. And second of all, it has a dry feeling afterwards. Not like you feel greasy and oily, 
but more like it gets absorbed and that's it. So I'm gonna show you how I usually use it. This one I use a bit more. You see, that's not a drop. The first time when I put this much after using the Giza oil for a year, I freaked out. I was like, there is no way, I'm, I'm gonna have to wash my hair again. But actually, after you spread it, oh, it smells so nice. It still smells very sweet, but it smells like different kind of sweet. Like soft, flowery, sour, summer sweet. Yeah, so the first time when I saw my hands like this, I panicked so bad because I thought I would have to wash my hair again. But look at this. So this is my hair. I kind of do this from the middle till the end. Oh, I really hope I didn't jinx it just now. And then I'll have to wash my hair again because it's too, too oily. Oh, it smells so nice. So this is what my hair looks like after I've applied it. As you can see, it's not greasy. It just looks healthy, soft, and very shiny. Here, let me show you. This is really not a good angle. Here you can see it's very soft, very shiny. Oh, I never noticed how blonde my hair is. I'm very happy with it. And if I want it to be a bit curly, I just put it in a little bun and sleep with it like that. So when I wake up, I have like very soft curls. I'm more of a messy hair type of girl. I just, I like it this way. So this is all I use. This is my embarrassing shampoo that I love a lot. I'm, I'm sorry. Not good for me, but I like it. This is my hair mask that I just leave in my hair for like 10 minutes while I wash my body. And I use this oil. Your routine doesn't have to be complicated. My routine focuses mostly on just taking care of my hair and keeping it healthy and protecting it from the outside. So I hope you liked this video. I hope I answered all of your questions. Let me know in the comments what you want to see in the next video. Please like and subscribe and I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Have a good day.